From the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. San Diego churches continue to hold virtual services despite President Trump's order to open places of worship immediately. Good evening, I'm Vanessa Van Hefti. As reporter Rena Nakano explains, while some fight the constitutionality of the forced closures, others don't mind waiting for updated state and federal reopening guidelines. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's go. It's another Sunday service to an empty hall at Rock Church in Point Loma. But senior pastor Miles McPherson says he still reaches a large audience just online. Ministry is happening. We're having church every day. We're just not having service in this building. Friday, faith leaders rejoiced when President Trump deemed houses of worship essential. The governors need to do the right thing and allow these very important essential places of faith to open right now for this weekend. If they don't do it, I will override the governors. But according to California's phased reopening plan, religious services fall under phase three. We look forward uh, to churches reopening in a safe and responsible manner. Uh, and we have guidelines that we anticipated completing on Monday. The South Bay United Pentecostal Church in Chula Vista filed a lawsuit this month, fighting the governor's stay-at-home order banning the opening of places of worship. But Friday, the federal appeals court rejected their request. And on Saturday, the church refiled an emergency motion to the U.S. Supreme Court to halt the governor's ban. California has been discriminating against churches in their reopen plan. We should not be in the last stage. We should be in the first stage. While the coronavirus pandemic has many tiptoeing around the idea of separation of church and state, McPherson says he is in no hurry to physically reopen. How services are going to happen is going to depend on the regulations from the CDC, but we will adjust accordingly. We are not bothered by whatever restrictions are put on us because you can't restrict people helping other people, and that's what our focus is going to be. Rena Nakano, 10 News.